two ways to add a special icon to a application. There's the wrong way and there's the right way. The wrong way is to right click on the application, say show and finder, hit command I to launch the window, select it and then paste in the new icon. This doesn't work very well because Safari uses its own internal icon which you can find here. Go to uh, right click on it, say show package contents, contents, resources, and then we want to search inside here for ICNS. We'll do folder resources, and here it is compass.icns. Now, what we want to do is we'll double click that and type in compass, compass. There we go. I will hit return and we'll copy that. And then we'll duplicate it because we want to have a copy. I'll put it over there for now. Now, I provided a link inside the YouTube movie and on the blog for this icon called Magic Safari. And I'm going to show you how to add that. Go over here and say download. This will up download and it will download from DeviantArt. DeviantArt. How would you pronounce that? I'm kind of curious about that. Um, we'll quit Safari for now. We'll open it up. And we want Magic Safari to ICNS. And we'll hit Command Paste to add in a proper name. We'll then drag it over here. And we want to make sure that we have a duplicate first, which we do. So we'll say Replace. Now, we'll click Close All That. Delete this. And if we launch Safari, it has a new icon, like so. So that's how you add a new. That's how you properly add a new icon to an application. It's really quite easy to do, and you do this for Mail. Like in Mail, it's app.icns. On Apple Scripts, it's applet. I think it's applet.icns. Just do a search for icns, and it'll give you the icon. Then you want to look for the one that looks most like the current one and replace it. Make sure you make a duplicate though so you can revert back if you don't like it. So thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.